What is up YouTube, it's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and today we're going to be learning how to tattoo fake skins for beginners. If you are first starting out and you want to grab some fake skins, kind of what ones you should be using. I definitely recommend Franken skins, real skins, pound of flesh is another good one. Um, I don't recommend using Amazon fake skins just because they can be really hard to tattoo. And I have a couple of reviews on here showing how terrible they are to actually tattoo. So those are what I recommend. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can be up to date on all the content I make for you guys each week. So let's get into the tattoo. Okay, so how to tattoo on fake skin for beginners. Obviously, whenever you do first start tattooing, you wanna make sure you're choosing really easy, simple designs to tattoo. Just line work starting out, you could go on to shading and other things after you get 100% down on your line work. But line work is the number one thing you want to learn, so you wanna pick a design that doesn't have any shading in it so that you could practice with that. Simple designs are also going to be really beneficial when you are first starting out. And then you could go on to designs like this to where there's some half circles, um, straight lines, other things like that to help you practice on growing with your tattooing. Also, when you first start out, I recommend using a seven round liner. They're just really easy to use. Um, you could practice on your depth and other things. And also they're not too small to where every line is gonna be super shaky and they're not too thick to where it could be hard to get it into the skin. So seven's a perfect starting grounds for practicing on fake skin. Then also, whenever you are first starting out, you want to try to get down your depth before jumping into something like this. So obviously you will be practicing with some straight lines or something along this nature, practicing for a design like this. Just practice your straight lines so that you can jump on to actually tattooing designs. But you always wanna start practicing the fundamentals before jumping into something like this, or it's gonna be really, really hard for you to transition into. Awesome, now you jump into actually tattooing this design. Whenever you first start out, you wanna make sure that your stencils are perfect and also putting a light layer of Vaseline over them after they dry for about three hours. This is super important. I also made a video on this if you're having issues with your stencils kind of smearing halfway into the tattoo. Definitely recommend checking out that video because it'll have all that information in there. Now let's get into tattooing. So. I'm running my machine on about an eight volt. So this will kind of change depending on the way that you tattoo. Obviously with my hand speed, this works out great when I'm using a seven round liner, um, but this will change depending on you. So try a couple different voltages before you jump into actually trying to do designs. That's why we practice on straight lines, half circles, S's, other things like that before jumping into designs, just so you could build up and know how to run your machine. Awesome, so we'll start out in one of these little stars on the outside just to get a feel for everything, which I recommend anytime you're doing a design like this, I added some stars in this one, but you could even do some straight lines up here just to kind of get comfortable practicing on your fake skins before jumping into your design. So we got our depth down, getting comfortable with everything. And now we could start on the design. So whenever you first start out, you want to focus on making clean, consistent lines, the exact depth the whole way through. So even if you want to go over your tattoo first before going into your actual lines, just to get a feel for everything, and then practice on your angle that you're tattooing at. You know, you don't want to have it straight up and down. You want that a perfect angle right like that so you could tattoo the correct depth and have the needles overlapping themselves so that it doesn't overwork the skin and you have saturation the first time through. Right like that. Now if you have issues with doing really long lines, I highly recommend you kind of do the whip out method. So when you, you're going through a line right like this, you kind of whip it out. That way you could start back on it a little bit and then pick it up and it'll show a perfect solid line. But if you try to, you know, really force going long lines whenever you first start out, you can get really shaky and it'll mess up your lines. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going through, you start to get uncomfortable about halfway. So what you do is just pick up your speed, whip out a little bit, and you can pick up 
a little bit back on this line and finish it out. If you had a hard time seeing that, I'll show you one more time. Going through your line and you get uh, be uncomfortable, you could just whip it out right like that. And pick back up a little back on it and finish out that one. One of the biggest things you want to kind of focus on whenever you first start out is just connecting all of your lines, making sure they all connect perfectly, that you're making some consistent lines, everything's saturated the way it should. Those are the things you kind of want to focus on whenever you first start out, and then you could jump on to getting a little bit more in depth with everything that you're doing after that. But these are the main things that you want to focus on just starting. This is a really great design to start out with because there's also circles inside. You can see right here that we'll get to here in a second. I'm going to speed this up, go through this line work, and then we'll focus on the circle. Okay, now we can get into the circle. So what we're going to do is make a perfect pivot point. I like to use this part and have it down and then I could just kind of rotate around with my pivot point on the corner of my hand. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. This is just what's most comfortable for me, especially when I'm doing big circles, kind of like out here, you know, this half circle, I just kind of follow it around completely. And if it's too long, just whip it out and then go back into it. But we'll go in and do this small circle first. The biggest problem people have with circles is staying in one area too long. They get uncomfortable and they go really slow, which will eat up the skin and cause trauma. So you just want to keep a consistent speed the whole way through. And that's why you guys practice on fake skins first. You could get comfortable doing circles and all of these things without completely destroying someone's skin or messing up a tattoo. Which could obviously destroy your career before it even gets started if you mess up a ton of people. And then you uh, have to fix them up or the word gets out that you're messing people up and then it completely throws off all your accountability as an artist. So this is all the steps that I would take whenever it comes to tattooing for your first time on fake skin. And then save this design because after you practice, you're getting really comfortable with your line work. You could go back in and shade this as well. So always keep your designs and then you can go back in and you know add shading to it later. We'll just add some stippling shading in here real quick. So you could save these for a couple months or a month until you get comfortable completely shading. And then you could go back in and add shading to it afterwards. So always save your designs when you first start out. That way you could get your practice in on shading without having to go and spend more money on fake skins. But I hope this was able to help you guys out and I can't wait to see you on the next video.